Swamiji, when devotees visit ashrams, they experience a sense of peace and harmony in their hearts as long as they stay there. But as and when they go back to their residence, it becomes difficult to experience the same. Why is it so? And what is the remedy? <clears throat> Devotees get an urge to visit ashram for some solace, relief, with regard to pressing problems, or for the joy they had tasted during their earlier visits. So naturally, when they stay here, their mind is somewhat free from their fixed emotions, likes and dislikes, rights and wrongs, and the like. Because the dominance of me and mine is less while in ashram. But during their stay, they hardly remember that the purpose of their visit is to erase from their mind their own condition, meaning the dominance of me and mine. The result is that when they leave the ashram, no change happens in their approach to men and matters. Hence, when they leave, the conditioned mind, which they carry to the ashram, bounces back as before. Many a time what happens is that while in the ashram, we limit our involvement to enjoy the sentimental, emotional aspects and the physical comforts only and do not make any serious effort to know the core principle of the Founder Saint's mission and the idea of the ashram. Unfortunately, we forget that our visit is to put us on the process of self-improvement and move towards the goal set by the Master. Another dimension. New visitors normally come to ashram for a break. A break from their routine, monotonous, uneven, full day to day life. That means they want a breakthrough. Unless they listen to Mataji's exhortation, that the ashram is a school to learn universal love and service, this breakthrough will not happen. To sum up, unless and until we try to broaden our vision, learn to accommodate everyone's viewpoint and handle everything with a touch of love, excellence, dedication and gratitude, the purpose for which the devotees have been drawn to ashram will not bear fruit. One more aspect is that the ultimate end and name of every visitor to an ashram should be to realize gradually that one who is searching for the answers of his questions and the power behind the searching are within only. If this is clear to us, we will be able to eke out the maximum benefit from our visit to ashram. Hey, yo.